<laughs> Yo, welcome to the Giant Nomad Podcast, man. What's going on, people? It's Giant Nomad here. It's an amazing, amazing day. It's a couple of days before Christmas, and this is how we're going to do it. You know, I, I'm really talking about owning you this next coming year. You know, this whole year is about purpose of 2018. Now, 2019 is going to be all about owning you, owning who you are. You know, I'm not talking about ownership. I'm not talking about being an entrepreneur. All right. I'm talking about this year is about owning you and owning what you say you're going to do. You got to become an owner of that. You have to own that because at the end of the day, that's what's going to hold you accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going after a career path, that is okay. That is fine. Go after it. We have to own it. You have to bust your ass and make it happen for you. You know what I'm saying? If you are going the entrepreneur route, what does it look like for you? You have to own that and take risks and things like that. And they both come with different risks. You know what I'm saying? You, if you're going after a career, you may have to travel. You may have to go to different cities, different towns. You have to pull your family around. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have to really look at what is great for you, what makes the best moment for you in your life. Where it's going to really pave this fantastic fucking future for you. But you have to own it, man. You can't dilly dally around. You can't be half-assed in it. Like, if you're going to be all you want to be in your career, then you have to bust your fucking hump. You know, that means you're going to put the hours in, the extra work in. That you have to figure out what's good for you. And if that was good for you and you love that shit, then make it happen. Because motherfuckers do make money when they go after their careers. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, 2019 is about taking, you know, being the owner of your shit, of your words. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't started your vision board yet, create one. You know what I'm saying? But break down your vision board. You know what I'm saying? You got to break it down. So what I do when I show my kids is that, you know, even wifey, we break down every single goal. And we're talking about every single step that's going to take to go to get that into that goal so if you're going after your career what does that look like what position are you in currently write that down then from there you're gonna have to talk about who you need to network around with write that down right start putting names there what is the next step have a you know, schedule a meeting with your boss you know figure out where exactly where you're at you know so you have this calibration knowing exactly what you're starting from you know, these are things that, you know, you just can't just post pictures up and that's it. Like a lot of people just do that. Oh, okay, I got a vision board. I'm posting pictures up. Nah, that's dead. You know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't do anything. You, know, you have to really live this stuff and, and, and breathe it in. Like, for instance, uh, it was yesterday morning. You know, I took my 17-year-old, sat him at the table for two hours. And we broke down his goals. He left with five pages of notes. You know what I'm saying? We totally tore it apart tore his mindset apart about what it's like to have real life situations and live in a real life you know he's 17 so his goals are to become an engineer um or as some of us go something i'm an engineer do this music thing that he wants to do um and i told him i said you know what's really good like we broke down a part of him trying to get his own place and i said well let's look at the math let's see how much you make you need a car you need an apartment. You better have money for your energy bill. You want like playing your Xbox a lot, so you better get the highest internet speed possible. So that's another bill. He was like, after we broke it down, he was like, oh shit, I, I, I can't, I can't leave. He didn't say, oh shit, but he was like, yo, I, I can't, I can't do the things I want to do. I said, that's right. You have to go after and figure out how you're gonna make that dollar. Is entrepreneurship your thing? That is, that's fantastic. Figure it out, make it happen. Do your thing. If it's going after a career path, is that more education? You have to think about this, right? An educational form. Is it another formal schooling, right? That means going and getting another degree. Is that certifications, right? This is all part of your goals. You have to put that in there so you can build the best you and own the best you possible. Because that way, you're accountable. That way, you look at your goals, right? The other thing, too, that I told my son, right, I do as well, is that I keep a daily journal of what I accomplish for my goals for the day. That's right. And the daily journal could be anything that you want to use. You can have an iPhone, so either you can use it in your notes or you can write notes in your calendar and just put, you know, what you accomplished for the day or what you didn't accomplish, right? And then I want you to go ahead, once you do that, after 30 days, 
right? After 30 days, you want to go ahead and take inventory of what you did, right? So you're going to go back week to week, day to day, and say, yo, I did this. Oh, I slept all day. I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit on Tuesday either or Wednesday. But I did this on Thursday all day. And then you're going to see how truly are you really owning your vision, your dreams, your goals. Because you then from there, you can really calculate how many days you did shit with it, how many days you did something with it. And then that way you can say, damn, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing my thing. I'm really fucking around. Or, do I'm crushing it. I mean, to take a little break. Like, I'm, I don't want to get too fatigued. And I'm gonna, I don't want to get overwhelmed and, and throw some kind of breaks in there for yourself. It's a great idea. Because that way you have something visual and tangible and some, some hard data, some really raw data for you to go back and say, yo, I'm killing it. And then you can break it down from quarter to quarter. I say month to month, day to day, week to week. And you can really say, damn, what did I do this week that I crushed it? And you can try to replicate that same week again to, to go further, to move, to move swifter, you know, um, just to show your gains, right? It's an amazing thing to do. Um, when I tried it out this year, I caught myself slacking. And I was like, oh shit, like, you got to re up, bro. Like, you've been slacking for a couple months. That's right. I didn't know, man, I was slacking for a couple months. Not, and I'm not the go getter of all go getters. Like, I'm always trying to strive, strive, strive. And, I, and daily life shit happens. I get it. You write that shit down. Because you're going to have to learn how to manage this stuff, right? And that's another thing. Like, you know, you're going to be wanting, trying to get different skill sets. You're going to be networking and seeing what you got it. You know, who do you need to befriend so to gain different skill sets from? You got to surround yourself with smart people and people that are smarter than you. That's what I do all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So the biggest thing here is really for 2019 is, is be an owner. Like I said, it has nothing to do with ownership of something but you have to own you i don't think we take that into consideration enough i think we just wake up every fucking day we fucking have our same fucking routine with no plan of action whatsoever to attack anything you may go to work and do your nine to five and you hate it because you have no plan you don't see yourself anywhere you know what i'm saying you have to visualize yourself being somewhere within that organization and going after it you know what I'm saying? And your career may not mean that you're actually in just one organization. Your career could be, go further out. And you have to find the right home. You know what I'm saying? The right company that you can really foster yourself and make shit happen with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to go after that shit. I'm not saying that you have to be an entrepreneur and take all this risk of trying to be an owner. Because a lot of people are not good at managing shit. A lot of people are not good at finance. A lot of people are just not good at, at all the ins and outs of being an entrepreneur. But if you know that you are a specialist, you have, you're a subject matter expert in your in your craft or in your specialty or, or in your career, then make that who the fuck you are and make companies want to fucking recruit you because you're going to be the best of the best. Because trust me, word gets around about who's the who around corporate America. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what you people have to understand, that if you're at your nine to five and you hate it, you have to figure out what the fuck you want to do. Because it's not your job's fault that you hate it. You agreed to the pay. You agreed to the hours. You agreed to the to the job description. They didn't put a gun to your hand and say, yo, you fucking working for us and that's it. They didn't kidnap your ass. You agreed to that shit. So if you're mad, be mad at yourself. If you dislike the company, you, like the, you don't like the people you're working with, then guess what? You need to move. And you need to start interviewing companies that's going to fit your style. That's right. I said you're going to interview companies. You need to see how you fit in and how this is really going to make you in your path stronger and move further ahead than what you are now. Because, again, a job is not a career, right? A career is something that you really, like I said, you, you, you become the best of the best. And people chatter, man. People talk. And people would talk shit all the time. But then there's also a lot of people say, yo, she's a badass. She's off the chain. Yo, we need to grab her. We need to recruit her. We need to steal her from this company. Or you can be the person that's low level, always complaining about shit. Oh, they don't give me enough benefit time. Or my kid was sick and they wanted me to come in and, you know, 
yo, you're gonna have to make fucking decisions because at the end of the day, work-life balance doesn't really fucking exist. You're gonna have to be, choose either or. You have to really take take a look at your calendar, and you know you're gonna be working your ass off. Then you have to be fucking realize, yo, I gotta spend time with my family, and it's not gonna be 50-50. <clears throat> Nothing is 50 50. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna sometimes it may be heavier on the family side, sometimes it may be heavier on the work side, but it's never gonna be 50 fucking 50. And that's what people have to get out of their fucking head. Work life balance is whatever you make out of it for you and your family. You know what I'm saying? So if you're crushing that at work right now, if you're going after your goals, write them down and break them down. Break it down to exactly what you need to do to get to that goal. Because the goal just seems lofty. It's almost like you're shooting in the dark, hoping you hit your goal. You have to exactly know what you need to do, how you need to do it. And once you do that and you figure out, hey, this is what I need to do to go after my career path, then go after it. Same thing just goes for entrepreneurship as well. Same exact thing. You have to break it down. You have to know exactly what you do, how you want to do it, and who you need to dance with. And when I mean dance, I mean networking. You got to network and dance with people. Like, it's funny how you want to have all these followers on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, but you have no one close to your chest that you could fuck with on a daily basis or in person about business, about how you move, about how they move, and so you can learn from them. But you, you quick to say, yo, I got 21,000 fucking followers and shit. But none of them are contributing to the benefit of you and your goals and your family. So this year, we have to switch shit up, people. We got to make sure we dance. We got to make sure that we move around. We have to make sure that we, 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 we're fucking with smarter people than we are. Than we are. We got to make sure that we are still educating ourselves because education is a stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, just continue growing and learning and getting some good books and reading and taking notes and saying, fuck, I gotta do this, I'm gonna do this. And then finally find your cadence and kill it this year in 2019. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's insane to me how people still haven't found their cadence yet. They still haven't found who they are yet. But that's okay because today's the day that you're listening to this podcast. And you're going to change some shit about you. Motivation and then drive and focus is going to take you forward into your goals 2019. You're going to own your goals. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take total control of your fucking destiny. It's, it's clear as day for me as far as the path I'm going to take. Okay. Of what I'm going to do. Of how I'm going to get there to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And if you're someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, but you still have to work, that's part of it until your business takes off to where you replace your income from your business. You know what I'm saying? You have to hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, if you're tired of what the, your your painting looks like, then repaint it. Be fucking painted. You have that option. That's why I don't understand. People get stuck in these ruts. And they don't understand that they can truly repaint the whole entire canvas and start from scratch. That's dropping people, right? Whether it's friends or family, that's rebuilding their education, their strengths, that's really seeing value in yourself and knowing that you're fucking phenomenal who you are. That's self evaluation, right? Seeing value in yourself. These are the things that we have to do in the 2019 world, people, that we need to go on and go after ourselves. I'm far from perfect. Let me tell you, my wife would be the first one to tell you too. But I have my strengths. She plays off of them. I play off of her and her strengths. Because she's fucking amazing. And we work it together. And we both have aspirations. And we both have to hold each other down. So while she's working on her thing, I'm working on mine. And sometimes I don't meet up where we're just separated. Sometimes I'm chilling while she's working. Sometimes I'm working, she's chilling. Sometimes we're working together. Sometimes we're working separate. You know, and we have to make sure we, we, we strategize and we make shit fit and happen for ourselves. You know, so you do have a partner. You got to be the best cheerleader for them. That you got to be the fucking on the sideline mascot, whole outfit, everything. Rah, rah, rah for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how you're going to win. And your people in your corner is going to do the same thing for you. They make sure they give you cheers and accolades, right? If you need that stuff. Some people just are just... You know, pounding it to the ground because that's how they're driven. There's no wrong way how to get to your goals. There's no truly 
formatted design path for you to make it. Everyone's different. Everyone sees it differently. And your failures would dictate your path. So make sure you, as you fail, you'll continue to learn from it and not letting it stop you. If you didn't get the position you, you wanted at work, look at yourself and say, hey, what, what could I have done differently? Go for that one-on-one meeting with your boss and get some insight. Don't bitch, don't complain. Just say, hey, I want to inquire. What do I need to do to get to position or next position? Your time is your time. Stop running a race for everyone else because it really doesn't fucking matter. The only person you're in competition with is with yourself. You're in competition with your lack of focus. You're in competition with your uh, with the way you do things. You're, you're fucked up routine of not keeping a proper cadence. You're in competition with yourself of just sitting on a fucking couch and doing nothing. So compete against those things, okay? And stop looking at everyone else as far as how fast they're moving or how close they're to the finish line because that's not your finish line. That's not your race anyway. Your race, your finish line, your goals are totally fucking different. And only you can run that race. No one else can join you for it. So guys, for 2019, like I said, own your shit. Become an owner today. And truly look at yourself and say, yo, I'm going to own my shit today. I'm going to take the next steps to move forward and make 2019 the best year for me and my success through and through. Because if you don't, no one else is going to do it for you. No one else is going to make a move that's going to be designed specifically for you. So go after that. Go after your, your career. Go after that position that you desire. Learn from it. Learn from mistakes. Learn from your failures. Um, read books. You know, look at a, a top CEOs who what they're reading, or 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 look at you know someone who's like two two positions above you. What are they doing? How they're moving? So you can learn the vernacular, how you know the language, and you know the path that you're gonna have to try to lead to get there. But again, it's customized to you, and you have to customize it to yourself. Make it happen, folks, because you got this. You just have to own it today.